Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Father God, I just ask you that you bless this video, Father God. Bless your word, Father God. I ask that you encourage me and encourage those that might be listening, Father God. I ask that you touch somebody in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Truly, God has been good. Amen. To me. And I can tell he's been good to you, too, because you're listening and you're tuning in on today. Thank you, Father God, for your word. If it was not or had not been for his word, amen, where would we be? Amen. You know, God gave me a word a while back, probably a couple of months ago. Uh, I was reading a verse of scripture, and I tell you, the, <laughs> I, I never seen this scripture before, the way the Lord gave it to me. Amen. And I'm going to try to get into some of it today. I don't know how far I'm going to be able to get or if I'm going to be able to continue this, because basically it is a lesson. I don't know if I'm going to be able to continue it uh, on next time, but I am going to get into it today. Amen. And uh, break this word down the way the Holy Spirit gave it to me. You know, amen. It, 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 I mean, it blew, it blew me away. Amen. Some of these things I already knew, but in this particular verse, in this particular scripture right here, it was, it was amazing the way he gave it to me. Let's go to uh, Romans. I believe chapter uh, 3 and verse uh, 23. I mean, it was, it, it blew me away when I seen the scripture. I done read the scripture over a thousand times and and uh, didn't really fully understand, amen, what it was saying. And uh, what is that, Romans uh, 3 verse 23. That's what I'm going to be reading from. This is the Amplified Version that I'm going to read. Amen. It says, For all have sinned and fallen short of the honor and glory of God. Amen. It says, For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Amen. Now, if you say you haven't <laughs> sinned, amen. You haven't got drunk, or you ain't cussed nobody out, or you ain't been, or you have never fornicated before, amen. And you say you ain't never sinned, something is seriously wrong with you, amen, if you say you have never sinned. And if you say you ain't never sinned, then this, this, this lesson, amen, or this word here ain't for you, amen. This is for those that, that have sinned, amen, and that are being redeemed, amen, by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. That 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 verse of scripture, I bet you saying, Well, what, what, what was it in that scripture that you seen? I tell you, that, that scripture blew me away. It said, For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And when I when I when I read that, the Holy Spirit, the Ruach, took me all the way back to Genesis when God had created uh creation when he created man. Took me all the way back there. Say, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And if you look that word up where it says, for all have sinned, amen. That means everybody, amen. It said, if, if the word said, for all have sinned, all have sinned, amen. And I looked that word up, sin. And uh, that word means, I believe it's in the Greek, it means to, uh, to miss the mark. To miss the mark. To miss the mark. That's what that word actually means in the Greek. To miss the mark. Amen. And I, and I said, okay, okay. So I'll have sinned and and, and, and we have uh, missed the mark. So I, so I had to you know, hold, I had to go all the way back. The Holy Spirit took me all the way back to the beginning when God had first created man. Amen. Formed him out of the dust of the ground. Amen. And blew him into his nostrils the breath of life. Amen. 
and, and, and as you read the story, you, you begin to understand that that when when God created everything that he created in the land or in the earth, God said that it was good. It was good. So that means that when he created Adam, amen, and Eve, amen, when he created them and everything that he created and he looked at it and said, it's good. Amen. So that means when he created Adam, he created Adam perfect. Amen. There was nothing wrong with Adam. There was nothing missing in Adam. But then when you go back to this, this verse of scripture in Romans 3 and 23, it says, For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But what about before sin even entered into the world? You know, how was man then? The Holy Spirit began to make me ponder upon that. And God had created man perfect. Perfect. Amen. Amen. It says that word sin means to miss the mark. It means we have missed God. It means that we have missed God's design and purpose for our life. So when God created Adam, he created Adam with purpose. And he created Adam for a specific design. Amen. And when he created Adam, Adam was the center, basically the center of the universe. Amen. He was the apple of God's eye. Amen. 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 It says that God created us with purpose and design. His design for his purpose. A design for his purpose. See, when God created Adam and Eve, he created them with a purpose. Amen. And it was for his design and for his purpose. The Bible says that our bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. And, and, and that we are not our own. So that means that these bodies are ours. Amen. Belongs to the Lord. Amen. Belongs to the belongs to the Lord. You can say what you want to. Amen. I know you've been doing whatever you want to be. Want to, want, I know you've been doing whatever you want to do with that body of yours. Amen. Amen. When I was out there in the world, I was doing whatever I wanted to do with my body. Did not know that this body belong to the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. That's what's wrong with a lot of us now. We don't even know that these bodies belong to the Lord. Amen. That he designed these bodies for a purpose. Amen. To give him glory. To give him praise. Amen. He designed these bodies for a purpose. Amen. He said that these bodies, these bodies, it, it belongs to the Holy Ghost, the temple of the Holy Ghost. God dwells within these bodies. You know what I mean? That's why he created these bodies. He created them with a, with a design and with a purpose. We got to keep that in mind. Amen. When we out there uh, doing anything that we want to do. Amen. In these bodies. We got to keep in mind that God created these bodies with a design and with a purpose. Amen. And and, and, and then the Holy Spirit began to talk to me about, you know, Adam, all the, the you know, uh, God. I mean, God had given Adam uh, power and dominion over everything that creeped upon the face of the earth. So Adam had Adam had power. Amen. Adam had authority over everything on the earth. Amen. Adam walked in the very presence of God. Adam had the glory of God on him. Amen. He had the glory of God on him. Adam, you know, I found out Adam, Adam wasn't lacking anything. Amen. God had created Adam perfect. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You got to you got to understand what I'm saying. You got to understand what I'm saying. You got to understand what I'm saying. Adam named every every animal. You know what I mean? Every insect that there that there is on the face of the earth right now. He named all those things. He had to have some power. Amen. To name all the animals up on the face of the earth. So when you see a lion, and we call you call the lion, where Adam he named it that. Amen. He named it a lion. Amen. Adam had that much insight and power, amen, that he could name every animal on the face of the earth, amen. So Adam, 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 Adam wasn't lacking anything, amen, because God created him after his image and after his likeness. You know, he, when he created him, he created him after his image and after his likeness. So, so Adam was the spitting, he was basically the, the, he was created in the image of God. Amen. So, so, so when I go back to this verse, I'm telling you, you got to look into this verse. You got to look into this verse. You got to look into it. Verse Romans, Romans, Romans 3 and 23. It said, for all have sinned, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So you, the Holy, Holy Spirit took me all the way back to the garden. You, and you began to look at Adam. Adam had the glory of God on him. Amen. At this time, Adam, believe it or not, Adam was not missing the mark. Amen. 
Adam, <laughs> Adam was not missing the mark. God said when he when, when he looked at everything he created, including man, he said it was good. So Adam was not lacking anything. You see what I'm saying about this verse? It said, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Amen. So everybody basically after Adam had fallen, you know what I mean, or now have now fallen short of the glory of God. See, so we got to understand that Adam was created in the glory of God. And after his image and after his likeness, Adam had the very glory of God on his person. You know, you understand what I'm saying? They was naked in the garden. You know what I mean? You know, uh, but they weren't naked uh, to the extent that they was without the glory of God. Adam walked around with the light of God on him. The Bible says, uh, what does that scripture? It says, uh, walk in the light. As he is in the light. You understand what I'm talking about? Adam had the light of God on him. He had the glory of the Lord on him. So we got to understand that we lost some things. You know, after Adam sinned, we lost some things. Amen. That's the problem with us today. We don't understand that we, we lost some things. We walking around here doing anything and everything and not even understanding what we lost. I believe once we realize what we lost, amen, we can begin to be reconciled back to God, Amen. By the Word of God, Amen. So, so that's that's what that's what I'm talking about today, Amen. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. See, you got to understand, Adam was not coming short in anything in God. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about now? For all have sinned and come short in the glory. Adam wasn't short in the glory of God. He had the glory of God on him. Huh, he had the praises of God in his mouth. And Adam understood how to worship God. Adam understood how to praise God. See, God had pre uh, created Adam with the purpose and design to praise and worship him. So Adam Adam didn't come short in, the, in, in those areas like we come in short today. It said, I'll have fallen. Yeah, we come short. Amen. And we missing the mark because of what Adam did in the garden. But God had brought forth this gospel of reconciliation to bring us back, to bring us back to the garden. Amen. To bring us back to the garden that we can regain, regain those things that were lost and begin to possess those things again through Christ. See, through Christ, the, the last Adam. See, see, see the Bible called, 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 called Jesus the last Adam for a reason. See, everything that Jesus did in the New Testament, you got to understand that Adam could do those same things. Amen. He could do those things. He had the same power, the same exact power that Jesus had in the New Testament. You know, you can call him Yeshua. You can call him Jesus. Amen. But I'm talking about the one that died and rose again on the third day <laughs> for my sins. Amen. I'm talking about the one uh, uh, that, that gave me his light. Amen. That I may be able to walk in the power of God. You see what I'm talking about? But anyway, the, I mean, it says for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Adam did not fall short of the glory of God. God created him with the glory on him. See, everybody else after Adam had fallen short. You know, Adam came to a point where he felt when, after he sinned, yes, he lost, he lost what he had. He lost that dominion. He lost it. He lost it. So therefore, at that time, yeah, Adam began to, to uh, miss the mark and fall short of the glory of God because of what he did in the garden. Amen. We got to understand that, you know, there was, a, there was some things lost in the garden. Uh, it says, uh, I got some things written down here. It says, everything under the heavens has a purpose. Amen. Everything that God created, including man, has a purpose and a design. All we got to do is, is go outside and look at the trees, and look at the grass, look at the sun, look at the moon, look at mankind. But we ain't, mankind ain't doing what they supposed to be doing. I'm going to put it like that. <laughs> but, but everything that God created, he created with a design and with a purpose. God don't God don't do things just to be doing it. He create things with for a purpose and, and a design. So so when you so uh, when it says that all have sinned and uh, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, that word said it, it means that all have missed the mark. What mark is God talking about? He's talking about the mark that when He created man in the beginning, we missing that mark. We we missing that perfection 
that maturity, you know what I mean? See, God, we don't know what, we don't know how old Adam was when he, when, when God created Adam. You know, Adam could have been a hundred years old when he created him. You know what I'm saying? We don't know how old he was when he, we don't know how old Eve was when God created him. We don't, we don't know. We don't know how old the earth was when God called it into existence. You know, but man say, where well, this earth been here for, you know, such, such million years? He could have created, created it. You know what I mean? With, with a time frame of a million years already, already uh, attached to it. You know, Adam could have been uh, 20 some years old when he created Adam. Adam could have been, I don't, ain't no telling how old Adam could have been when God created Adam. You know, you know, so, 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 uh, According to the scriptures, you know, the earth only been in existence six six thousand years, you know. But man, you know, they, they try to do their little tests on it, but they don't know how old the earth was when God created it. They don't know. You know, don't nobody know how old Adam was when God created Adam. He could have been a, a two, three hundred years. Don't nobody know how old Adam was when he was created. Nobody knows that. But anyway, I ain't gonna get off into that. I'm not gonna get off into that. But anyway, you know when a, you know you you seen a target before with a with a bullseye on it's got a bullseye right in the center of it, you know, and that's what and that's what we trying to hit that bullseye right right in the center, you know what I mean? But we 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 missing the mark because of, of what Adam did. But if but but if we accept the Lamb of God, our Redeemer, Amen, we can begin to hit that mark again, Amen, and walk in the power. In the glory of God and call those things that be not as though they were. God is calling us back to the state that he had created Adam in in his in his existence before he fell. That's what that scripture. That's what the Holy Spirit told me when he when I read that scripture, when he said, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Adam wasn't short of the glory of God. Adam wasn't lacking nothing. Huh? Adam was was not inferior to anything in creation. Amen. You got to understand that. You know what I mean? We became inferior. Amen. After Adam fell. Amen. Amen. But God raises us up to another level when we when we humble ourselves. You know what I'm saying? The Bible said when if you humble yourself, then God will exalt you in due time. Amen. When it's time to exalt you. But you got to be in Christ. You got to be in Christ. Amen. 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 I got some, some notes wrote down. It said the bullseye is the image of God. Put on Christ, who is the express image of God. That's why the Bible uh, 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 tells us to put on Christ. It tells us to put on Christ. We need to put. We got to put on Christ to get back to the to get back to the uh, 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 the image uh, to be in the image of Christ to get back to what we need to get to in God. We got to be. We got to put on Christ. Amen. There is no other way back to the garden. There is no other way back to the garden. There is no other way back to the Father. The Bible says that, that no man can come unto the Father except but through the Son. Got to come through the Son to get back to the Father. See, Adam was with the Father. Adam was with the Father. Adam was not separated from the Father in the beginning. He wasn't, he, I'm he wasn't lacking nothing in relationship with God. Amen. He, he wasn't lacking nothing. And, amen. He had everything that he needed. Amen. Amen. But anyway, let me see what else I, I got down here. Let's look. It said, but I'll have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. I'll have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Let's look at that word short. That word short means to suffer need. Adam didn't suffer no need when God created him. When he looked at our creation, including man, he said everything. He said it's good. Adam didn't need anything. Amen. He didn't need nothing. They say he didn't suffer. Suffer need. Short means to suffer need, to lack. Act. Adam didn't lack nothing. Amen. You can say, well, if you want to say that he suffered need, that he 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 needed he needed a wife. That's what you want to say. Adam didn't even know what a wife was. He ain't seen no one before. So how can you say he 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 was having he had companionship with God? That's all he needed. With that relationship with God. He didn't need nothing else. Amen. But we, but when we look at it from God's point of view. We look at it from God's point of view. Okay. We can say. Okay. That Adam needed to help me. Amen. When you look at it from God's point, point of view. See. We all. Let me, let me make this point while, while I'm talking about it. Uh, uh, we always think that we know what we need. 
Adam didn't know what he needed. He didn't know that he needed a wife. People be saying, well, Adam Adam looked around and he seen all of everything else and realized that he ain't had nobody. He had God. <laughs> he, he had the most high. He didn't need nothing else. Amen. Not that he knew of. You know what I mean? Now, God knew he needed some, but Adam himself, he did not know that he needed anything else. You can go ahead on with that. Amen. Adam ain't never seen a woman before. Until Eve was, was until God created Eve. Now, God, know, God knows what we need. God knows what we need. That's why we, we walk by faith and not by sight. We don't always know what we need, but God knows exactly. He knows exactly what we need. Amen. 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 I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you something. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you something. Okay, I, I got some notes. He said, listen, I, I said, listen, I believe something happened to the human family in the garden. God had given Adam and Eve power and dominion over creation. They were clothed with the glory and the majesty of God. You understand that? They were and they had the light of God on them. God created Adam and Eve suitable for his design and purpose. God looked at everything that he had made and said it was good. Something tragic happened to, to us all in the garden. See, you got to understand what happened to Adam happened to us. That's the way God looked at it. That's the way he looked at it. According to the scripture, that's the way he looked at it. The Bible talks about because of Adam's disobedience, sin passed down to all men. And, and, and through the result of sin, death passed upon all men. So when, when, when Adam looked, when God looked at Adam, God seen mankind. He seen us perfect. He seen us perfect. So when he looks at mankind now through Adam, he, he, he see us flawed. He see us missing the mark. But now when he see us through the last Adam, through the last Adam, Christ, huh? He see us back again. Amen. He see us back again in perfect relationship with him. Amen. Because of what, what, what Christ done. Because of what Jesus done. Because of what Yeshua done. Amen. We can get back to the Father and have a relationship with him. Amen. We can get back to the Father. So something happened to us all in the garden. When, when Adam fell, we fell. Huh? We fell. When Christ rose again, if you accept him as your person, say, we rose again. When Christ died, we died. When he got up, we got up. You understand what I'm talking about? <laughs> Amen. Amen. So so Romans Romans uh, 3 and 23, like I was saying, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We so, so basically, we were downgraded. We were downgraded. We were downgraded. When Adam's fell, we, we, we were downgraded in the garden. God put us out of the garden because now we have been, we, we were downgraded. See, our potential to serve God was stripped from us because of sin. You hear that? Our potential to serve God was stripped from us because of what Adam did in the garden. Our potential. See, Adam had the potential to serve God. God created him with the potential. I told you he created him with, with purpose. Huh? He created him with purpose. He designed him with purpose. But when he fell, he lost the purpose in, in the design. He lost it to an extent. Huh? He lost it to an extent. He was flawed. He missed the mark. But when God created him, he wasn't lacking anything. He was not inferior to anything. You got to understand that. That word short means to suffer need, to lack, to fail, to be in want, to be destitute, to be inferior, to fall short of the glory of God, meaning now that you have become inferior. Huh? You've been, you, you, you've been downgraded. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You got to understand what you done lost. We got to understand what we done lost. We done lost some things. And God is trying to get us back to a, a place, amen, to where we can gain those things back, amen, so we can get back in right standards with God. See, Christ, see, Christ put you back, put us back in right standards with God. See, 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 at the beginning, Adam had right standing with God, but when he fell, he didn't have, look, he lost it. He lost it. Huh? He started falling short of the glory of God. He missing the mark. 
See, because God had created Adam to win. Created him to win. He wasn't missing the mark. He could hit he he was right on the bullseye. He didn't miss the bullseye. But after he sinned, we began to, to miss the mark. <clears throat> See, God created us with a purpose and a design. We got to understand that. See, the Bible says in St. John 10 and 10 that the thief cometh not but to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, I have come that they may have life and have it more abundantly. See, the thief came to steal, kill, and destroy. He stole the light from Adam. He stole the glory from Adam. He stole the majesty from Adam. He stole the dignity from Adam. But Jesus come on the scene. Amen. Huh? He said, but I have come. <laughs> you got to understand that. He said, but I have come that they may have life and have it more abundantly. See, Adam had life and he had it abundantly in the garden. He had life and he had it abundantly, but he lost it. The enemy came and he stole it. Huh? That's what, but Jesus said, but I have come. <laughs> See, Jesus is a restorer. Jesus is a restorer of all things. You got to get that. You, we got to get that in our head. God is trying to get us back in perfect relationship and in perfect harmony with him. And the only way we're going to be able to do that is we got to accept uh, 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 Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. We got to do that. That's why Jesus told Nicodemus. He told him. He told him straight up. He didn't play with Nicodemus. He told him straight up. He, he told him. He said, you must be born again. <laughs> you got to understand that. You got to understand that. You know, until you born again, you're going to continue to miss the mark. Huh? Until you are born again, you're going to continue to miss the mark. You don't understand how to serve God. You don't understand how to praise God. You don't understand how to worship God. You don't understand how to walk in right fellowship with God. Jesus said you can't even see the kingdom of God unless you're born again. He said you must be. It's a necessity that you be born again. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what these e e e Egyptologists are saying. I don't care what the Pan-Africans are saying. I don't care what these countries' brothers are saying. I don't care what Confucius is saying or Allah and them or all Islam. I don't care what they're saying. You listen, you. The words say you must be born again. Huh? You must be born again. You can't stay in the state that you are in and think you're going to be able to worship and praise God or have a fellowship with God. Look, these people ain't got, listen, these people that ain't been born again, they don't have no fellowship with God. Huh? Jesus is the only way to back to the Father. He said, no man come up to the Father except by me. You see what I'm talking about? Oh, I tell you. I tell you. Y'all make it tough. Y'all make it tough. You make it tough on me. Making it tough. Huh? Making it tough. He said, but I am come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. So, so, so we got to understand that Jesus is a restorer of all things. Jesus is a restorer of all things. We got to understand that. See, Adam, 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 them messed up when they ate from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Huh? See, that's what Satan was trying to get them to do. He told, he told, he told Eve, if, they, if you eat from this tree, you, you shall be as God, knowing good and evil. Huh? Knowing good and evil, you shall be as God, lowercase g. You ain't going to be like God. You're going to be a lowercase g. See, he, he tricked. He, the Bible says that, 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 that Eve was deceived. And that Adam was disobedient. Huh? Adam knew what the deal was. But he was, I'm telling you what the scripture, the scriptures say that Adam was disobedient, but Eve was tricked. She was deceived. Huh? <laughs> but this man, Adam, he, he was disobedient. He just disobeyed God. God had one law, as far as I know, as far as the scriptures are concerned, he had one law in the garden. He had one law. You know, you got to ask yourself, what is sin? Sin is, Bible says sin is the transgression of the law. So that means there, has, there, there had to have been a law in the garden. Huh? 
There had to be a thou shalt not in the garden. You got to understand that. Huh? That was, that, as far as I know, there was one law in the garden. The Bible, and, and somewhere back there in 1 John, it says, it says that, uh, uh, that sin is the transgression of the law. So that means that there had to have been a law that God has set up in the garden. And I seen, I seen in the book of Genesis one law. And it says, thou shalt not, thou shalt not eat of the tree of the knowledge of the good and evil that, that's sitting in the midst of the garden. God laid down, he laid down one law. <laughs> Amen. And, he trans and they transgressed that law. Adam was disobedient. He went in and did. He 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 knew he was he he was disobedient. He knew what he was doing was wrong. But 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 Eve was tricked. She was deceived. Huh? <laughs> she huh? The Satan told him that you shall be as God, knowing good and evil. That's all the tree of knowledge of good and evil is. It's knowledge without God. It's the knowledge of good and evil without God. Adam didn't need to not need to know the knowledge. Uh, uh, of the tree of good and evil, he had God. He had God. He was being directed by the by the ruach. Amen. He didn't. He he had he had relationship with God. That's all he needed. But 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 now we we out here now we want to do what we want to do. See that's the tree of the knowledge of good and evil that that Adam ate from. When we talking about we want to do what we want to do. Amen. You want to be a little G, a little God. Amen. <laughs> See, this tree represents, I got a little note here. It said this tree represents that I can make my own decisions with that God. That's what the tree represents. I can make my own decisions with that God. I don't need, I don't need God to make no decisions for me. I can make my own decisions with that God. That's what this, that's what that means. That's what's going on out here today. People making their decisions with that God. The tree of knowledge and good and evil is just a tree of knowledge with that God. Mm-hmm. And God broke that down to us in the law. He broke that down to us law. That's all the law was. It was the all the law was, if you ask me, is the knowledge of uh, 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 of good and evil. What you shall not do and what you shall do. But it was still the knowledge. Amen. It was still the knowledge. You know what I mean? See? It was still the knowledge. Amen. The only difference was that they had they had God with that knowledge. They had God with that knowledge. You know, God was trying to restore man even even then with the law. He was trying to restore man even then with the law. Huh? Huh? Because they said, thou shalt not. He told them what they shall not do and what they should do. He told them a man shouldn't lie with another man. Huh? He said a man shouldn't lie, lie with a beast. That's the knowledge of evil. That's the knowledge of evil. <laughs> See? But it's a, it's a knowledge of evil with God, though. God telling them. You know what I mean? He put it in the law. See, but what Satan did in the garden, he was letting them know that y'all can make your own decisions on your own without God. That's what he was telling them. So the tree the tree is opposed. or The tree was, uh, was opposed or in opposition to God. The tree is like, I mean, man has corrupted his way because he refused to know God. Basically, man has corrupted his way because he refused to know God. He refused to 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 contain uh possess uh God in his in his knowledge and in his wisdom. Amen. I don't know how far I'm gonna get with this. I don't even know if God gonna give I got I got more I got more of this, but I don't know how much God is gonna let me 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 uh talk on this and he because you know God moves the way he wanna move. I can't do what I wanna do. Anyway, Mother Noah said Jesus is a restore of all things lost. Jesus is a restore of all things lost. So how can a person be restored if they don't know that they lost something? Huh? How can a person be restored if they don't know they didn't lost something? That's I believe that's that I believe that's one of the biggest deals with us today. We don't understand. We don't understand. <laughs> we don't understand what we really lost. We don't understand what we really what we really lost in the garden. And how that God has provided a way for us to obtain the things that we lost in the garden. God has, has, has is making a way for us to get those things back through Christ Jesus. See, 
It's a lot of people out there walking around out there in them streets. They 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 don't even understand <laughs> what they lost. They don't understand. They don't understand what they lost. <clears throat> so how can a person be restored if they didn't know that they have lost something? Jesus said himself. Jesus said himself in Matthew. I got a verse script wrote down here. In Matthew, I believe it's in Matthew chapter 9, uh, verse 12 through 13. You can write those scriptures down. You can write the, those scriptures down. Matthew chapter 9, verse 12 through 13. It says, they that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. Huh? They that be whole need not a physician. See, if you think you whole, you think you, you, think you got everything. Huh? If you think you well, then you 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 don't need no doctor. <laughs> you don't you don't need no doctor. <laughs> you don't need a physician. The Bible says that Jesus is the great physician. But if you think you well, if you don't think you sick, if you don't see nothing wrong with yourself, <laughs> when you look in the mirror of the word, even if even if 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 you even look at it, that's why it's important to eat, to read the word so you can find out. What's wrong with you? Amen. Amen. And then be able to take the word. When the word e e expose your sickness, you got to be able to take the word in order to be healed. Amen. Huh? You got to know that you're sick. Amen. See, Jesus, Jesus can't, he, he can't help us if we don't, if we don't uh, 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 realize and humble ourselves and come to him and tell him we need some help. I need some help. I'm sick in this area. I need some help, Father. Take this, this alcohol away from me. Take this, this, this reefer or this, this joint away from me. Oh, Father, get this woman out of my life. Get this man out of my life. Ha! Glory, hallelujah. You see what I'm saying? You got to, you got to, I mean, you, you got to know that something is wrong with you. Or you got, you need to know that, I mean, that you need help. See, all is lost. All is lost without Christ. Jesus is the restorer of all things. He's the restorer of all things. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> amen. 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 I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna prolong it. I ain't gonna go on and on. Uh. uh right now. Amen. But hopefully, if, if, if the Lord willing, I can come back. Amen. And share some more. Of this with you. Amen. Cause, cause, cause that, that, that particular verse of scripture, amen, is, 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 is powerful for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. We, 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 we missing the mark. Amen. And we falling short. We lacking. We have, we have been downgraded, but Christ has, has, has come to, to upgrade us, to get us back. Amen. To the place. Amen. Where God want us. Amen. He said he, when he when he first, like I said, when he first created Adam and everything he created and Eve, he, he, he said he looked at it and said, look, it's just the way I want it. It's, it's perfect. It's good. The glory. Look at my look at look at my image. Amen. On Adam and Eve. He was walking in power, the same power that that the Messiah walked in. In the New Testament, <laughs> the same power. That's why the Bible calls him the, the, the last Adam. Amen. He's the last Adam. If we're going to hook up to anything, we need to hook up to the last Adam because we got to get out of this, this uh, family line of Adam. Amen. And move on into the line of, of Jesus. Amen. The, the line from the tribe of Judah. We need to get into that family line lineage amen and that's why the bible said you must be <laughs> you look you look I, uh i can't i can't give it to you no clearer than i'm giving it to you right now the bible said you must be born again you got to be born again see because you because when adam and them sinned in the garden they they that he they tainted the bloodline you got to understand they tainted the bloodline the bible says that the life of the life was what? Of all flesh. It's in the blood. 
The life of all flesh is in the blood. See that blood? Amen. When Adam sinned something, I believe, I'm telling you, I believe something happened. Something happened to, to his blood. Amen. I believe something happened to his blood. Amen. And I believe that's why sin has been has been transferred over to all men. Because Adam has 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 death in his blood. He has death in his blood and has saturated throughout his flesh. Huh? You hear what I'm saying? He the the, the blood done saturated throughout his flesh. That's why the flesh is the way it is. Amen. It's got it's got it's got dead blood flowing through it. You got to understand that. The Bible said the life of our flesh is in the blood. But now we got the blood of Jesus. You understand what I'm talking about? <laughs> you better understand what I'm talking about. Now we got the blood of Jesus. Amen. We got the blood of Jesus. You Look, you must be born again to be born into the, the, lineage, the lineage of Christ. That you can become a joint heir with him. Huh? You need to you need you need to be born again. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's why the the, the, blood, the blood of Jesus washes away our sins. <laughs> amen. Look, look, that's why I believe, amen. That's why I believe once you're born again, something, something, something happens. Amen. Something happens to you. Amen. Just wait, just 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 like when when Adam sinned, something happened to him. But when you're born again, something happened to you. <laughs> you better you better understand what I'm saying. I don't care if if if, if, if your mama or your daddy uh, had, had had problems with high blood pressure, or sugar, or alcohol, or any kind of drug. Amen. Huh? Huh? See the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus eradicates all that. But you got to know what you got. You got to know what you got. <laughs> you can't walk around, you know what I mean? See, because that way you can start calling those things that be not, you know what I'm saying, as though they were. You know what I mean? You can start confessing with your mouth, amen, that you've been healed, amen, by the blood of Jesus. See, you can confess those things now. See? See, before you was born again, you can't, you, no, nah, you can't confess that. You don't know what to confess. You got to be born again, amen, because you can't even see the kingdom of God. You know, people talking about they was born gay. Well, guess what? You need to be born again. <laughs> Look, if you get born again, that, that'll get you out of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I ain't got a problem with it. I don't have a problem with it because I, I know, it, 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 listen, if you let, you, let, you let God change your life, you go ahead on and you, you must be. You must be born again. See, all that stuff, is, 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 it's in your lineage. It's from, it, it come all the way down through Adam. That's why you. That's why we got to be born again. We got to become citizens of the kingdom of God. That's, that's, that's a whole nother uh, look. That's a whole nother uh, teaching right there. Amen. Because once you're born again, God God writes your name down. Amen. And you become a citizen of the kingdom of heaven. Amen. You 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 you're born into a new family. You understand what I'm saying? Just like when you when you're physically born, when you're physically born, they give you that birth certificate. Amen. You, when you physically born, born. Uh, but but when you're born again, look, God writes your name down in heaven. You 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 now belong to the family of God. But anyway, I, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna keep I ain't gonna keep y'all too long. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But anyway, if the Lord is willing, I'm gonna come back and uh we're gonna do this again and uh and uh go through this uh lesson some more if the Lord say the same because there's, there's there's more into this into this teaching. Amen. And on your spare time, just just go look at that Romans three twenty three, and say where it say for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, and and, and get the full understanding of that, because that that takes you all the way back to the garden, because Adam Adam wasn't falling short of the glory of God. Adam was not missing the mark. Adam was created in God's image. Adam Adam walked in the in, in the light of God, in the glory of God, in the power of God. He had authority and dominion. He wasn't lacking. He was not inferior to to nothing in creation. He was the man. You understand? Next to God. Amen. But anyway, I just I, I thank God uh, for this for this word on today. I thank God for this word. I, I hope this word has been an encouragement uh, to you, as it has been have been for me. And uh, I, until next time, until next time, until next time. Listen, you must be born again. You must be born again. Amen. And I thank you for uh, 
uh, listening, amen, to this word on today. And God bless you.